Okay. Now stay here and don't move. I'm just gonna go answer the door. Hey, Brody. I got here as soon as I could. Wait, no. Dude. Okay, were you being followed? <laughs> no. Were you being followed? No, man, I wasn't being followed. Okay, you know, are you wired? Are you wired, man? I'm not wired. Are you wired? I'm, not, dude, I'm not wired, okay? Okay. Well, if you are being wired, <laughs> all we're gonna do is play some video games and do some homework, okay? Um, just homework and, uh, and video games. And we're gonna talk to my foreign cousin. She doesn't speak English very well. Wait, wait. You have a foreign cousin here? Is it a hot foreign cousin? Come on, man. Listen, what I'm about to tell you is very serious, okay? You can't tell nobody, okay? Not your mom, your dad, not even your dog, man. I don't have a dog. You know what I mean. Okay, all right, I swear. I swear. Okay. If you, uh, did choose to talk, <laughs> I will post all over Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube that video of you in the shower. <laughs> yeah, man, when I spent the night, when you were singing, uh, what was, what was it, uh, If I Was Your Boyfriend by you Justin wouldn't. Bieber? Oh, no, no, wait. You wouldn't. I would, my friend. Yeah, yeah, you would. I, dude, I, I swear, on our friendship, man. I swear. Wouldn't tell anybody. All right. Come on. Okay. <laughs> This is it. Yeah. You got me all hyped up for this. Yeah. Isn't it cool? I guess. If you have a fetish for puppets and dolls. Listen, buddy, I gotta go, man. No, no, Derek, Derek. That's the thing, man. This thing is not a puppet. I mean, it looks like a puppet, but it's not. Brody, I think you're feeling ill due to the heat exhaustion or something, man. But that, my friend, th that's a puppet. Okay. I know what you think you're thinking, and I know what this looks like, but that's the beauty, man, all right? It might look like a puppet, and it probably feels like a puppet, uh -huh. but it's not. It's not? No. Then what is it? It's an alien. <laughs> an alien? Yeah, an alien. An alien? Brody, I seriously think that you had your amps too close to your ears or something, even playing your guitar too loud, bro. And I heard this happens a lot of like rock stars, bro. But I think you got it. you're losing it, man. Derek, you're losing it. I'm serious. <laughs> I'm serious too. You expect me to believe that this blue green, one eyed, muppet inbred, smurf looking thing <laughs> is an alien? Yes, I do. Look. I was on my way home from band practice. I was riding my bike. And all of a sudden, this UFO appears in the sky, like a shooting star. It was a bright object, and it lands straight in my backyard. So, I ride to my backyard, go inside, in my pool, there was a UFO just floating there. And this, this thing just crawls out of the pool, dripping wet, and just looks at me. Uh -huh. So, I went inside and got a towel, and I dried it off, and... It walked in inside with me, and it's just been sitting here staring at me, not saying a word ever since. I mean, dude, my, my parents are gone for the weekend. I don't know what else to do, so I called you, oh man. Come on. Why are you laughing? <laughs> dude, that's a good one. You expect me to believe that this, 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 this alien, like, this UFO comes out of nowhere, crashes into your pool, and I, like, out of all the houses around here, bro, right? Crashes in your pool, it comes out soaking wet, and then you just dry it off, and it falls you into the house like a little lost puppy, and it just sits here on your couch. Just sits here, like a mannequin. Yes, I do. Dude, uh, wait, I, I know what this is. I'm on one of those prank shows, right? Right? It, uh, I'm a punk. Hello, Mr. Ashton Kutcher, hello. You're not gonna get me to say I've been punk. No, no way, Jose. Now, my friend here, he, now, he, he's not all there, but I'm the brains of this bunch. I mean, he knows how to play guitar and stuff like that, but I'm the brains of this thing, man. Well, if you are an alien, I'd expect you to move or at least say something. See, I told you, Brody, you thought you got me, but you didn't. Nice joke attempt. <laughs> Let's get out of here before he, she, or whatever it is, dances us to death. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> you mean like that? Did, 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 did you just talk? Yeah, 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 yes, I did. 
And, um, did you just zap my best friend in the butt with an electric ray? Well, yeah. I was trying to get him to stop moving around and to relax, because he was getting a little too hyper for me. And frankly, annoying. Oh my gosh, this thing really is real. I told you, man. <clears throat> what is your name? My name is Brody. His name is Derek. What is your name? My name is Blue, and I can hear you fine. You don't have to talk any louder or slower for me to understand. I may only have one eye, but I can hear you fine. Frankly, talking like this is more annoying than your friend Derek. <laughs> Dang this alien has some personality. Yeah, you're right. He can get pretty annoying. But he's my best friend and he has a good heart. But uh, we mean you no harm. I know that. My antenna has the capability of sensing your two emotions. And I was able to sense that right away. I'm just messing with you guys. I mean you no harm as well. And I'm sorry I gave you a little shocker. I didn't mean it. It was more of what you humans call a love tap. With an electric ray. Trust me, if I really want to hurt you with it, I could really do some damage. You wanna see? No, 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 so you really are an alien from outer space? Yep, in the flesh. Well, actually, the fur. We don't really have skin like the humans do. We have fur. You look like a puppet. And you look like a wise guy. Derek, shh. <laughs> so, uh, what was your name again? Blue. Blueba. Yeah, well, actually it's pronounced... I know, since you humans can't understand our language yet, this is how you would pronounce it or say it here on your planet. Bloop, is, is your name short for something or does it stand for something? Um, no. Why? Is your name short for something? No. Then why do you think my name would be short for something? Well, because the name Bloop just sounds weird. Really? Well, the name Derek sounds weird to me. And that's it. I'm pretty offended. Just because my name is not common to you doesn't mean it's weird. Look, I, I didn't mean it like that. It just... You know what? I'm truly hurt. I come all the way down from my planet to be friends. And all you do is make fun of my name? Look, it's, it's just I never heard the name Blue before. <laughs> I'm just messing with you guys. Uh, I was just joking. Trying to break the ice. Seriously, I know my name is pretty dull sounding to you humans, but hey, that's what I was born with. But for your information, I have been be named after a couple big good looking movie stars from my planet, such as Blue Pitt, Blue Clooney, and uh, Blue DiCaprio. Really? No, just joking. Dang, you go. So, how do you spell your name? Easy. B L O O O B. The third O is silent. Get it? <laughs> the, the, the third O is silent? I thought I had a, you know, a little sense of humor to the spelling of my name. Uh, all right, too much of you guys' uh, head? Okay, moving on, moving on. So, why'd you come here? Well, people from my planet have been coming down here to watch you guys for centuries. A lot of people always tell me they get a kick out of watching you guys down here. So, when I got the opportunity to come this time, I said, heck, why not? Looks like a nice planet. Nice and bright, blue and green from the distance. Looked like a very, very nice planet to attack. <laughs> hey guys, relax. It was a joke. <laughs> Trust me. Dang, you humans can't take a joke. You guys are so serious when it comes to talking about aliens. Trust me. I'm not here to hurt or attack any of you. I'm just in it to observe and learn and then go back to my planet. Wait, wait, what do you mean, observe and learn? Uh. Just like I said, every year we're sent from our leader reps to come and observe your planet, to learn from. Kind of like how some of you Earthlings have so-called mission trips in some of your religions and cultures. Well, on our planet, we have something like that too. You see, our planet has been in such major destruction in the last several thousand years, we are trying to learn from what you humans do that is different or may help us from destroying our own planet. 
So wait, if, if you're here to just to observe and learn, why why do we always hear about like alien abductions and stuff like that? Man, Derek, you sure do watch a lot of movies, and frankly, I'm hurt. Your prejudice towards aliens like me, and instantaneously stereotype all aliens like you do. Not all of us aliens are bad. We may have some that do bad things, like what you hear about, but that's like me saying all you humans abuse children or break into cars or steal or commit identity theft and fraud towards others. Do you all do that? No! So I wouldn't say that about all of you. So I would hope you don't say that about all us aliens. Didn't you ever see the movie E.T.? He was friendly. Yeah, you're right. I I'm sorry. I didn't mean to, you know, stereotype. No worries. You want to hug it out? Come on, let's hug it out. Make it feel all better. Okay, that's enough. Didn't mean to get all much on you. So, uh, why'd you choose my house? Actually, I was running out of fuel. And I noticed you had a pool. And just said, heck, if I'm going to crash, but I just try to land in the pool to decrease any damage. Heck, do you know how much it is on my planet for a spaceship like mine? So wait, why come out during the day? Don't UFOs come out during the night? There you go again. Stereotype. <laughs> no, those are most of the drunk aliens flying around late at night. Just like you in your cars. Don't you like driving out during the day when it feels a lot safer than driving out late at night? Risking maybe being hit by a drunk driver. Too many crazy aliens out there. <laughs> so wait, you have a UFO crashed in the middle of Brody's pool. Well, actually, it's in the bottom of his pool. <laughs> and no one else knows about this, right? No, not a soul. As of now, it's just me and you. Hey guys, what's up? <laughs> hey, hey, Jared, what's up, man? Yeah, what, what are you doing here? I come here every Friday to clean your pool, remember? <laughs> you guys okay? Yeah, we're, we're fine, man, yeah. Uh, y are you okay? <laughs> yeah, listen, um, are your parents back home yet? Um, actually, no, they're on vacation still. <laughs> okay. uh, do you mind if I just leave last month's bill with you? Yeah, thanks. Uh, yeah, I'll be sure to give it to him. <laughs> cool, thanks. <laughs> Are you guys okay? Because you guys are looking a little bit petrified. No, 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 it's, it's just hot. And uh, we're thinking maybe it's not a good idea you clean the pool today and uh, you, you take the day off. Look, I would love to, but your parents would kill me if I didn't clean out that pool before the weekend. Because I know how your dad likes to come home from work and jump in the pool. But uh, look, I really got to clean it out. Okay, seriously, Jared, it's okay. Me and Derek, we'll clean the pool today. You want to know why? Why? Because we like you, man. We really like you, and you know, we know you work really hard for this family. And hey, take the day off, go spend it with your girlfriend. Me and Derek will clean the pool. Easy. No, seriously, guys, I, like, look, I really do appreciate the nice gesture. I really do. But uh, listen, I can't really leave you guys to clean out that pool. Seriously, it's no big deal. Any monkey can take a net and clean the pool. <laughs> I'm sorry, I meant to say it takes a real smart monkey to thoroughly clean a pool. <laughs> no, seriously guys, I, look, I can't leave you guys alone to clean out that pool. It's going to take more than just a net. What do you mean? I mean, there's some uh, green oil gunk leaking from the bottom of your pool. I just checked. I'm sorry, there's, there's, there's what? There's like a huge metal object at the bottom of your pool. Leaking out some green oil gunk and stuff. I mean, we gotta clean that out quick or it's gonna cause some stain and damage to your pool. Okay, um, <clears throat> Jared, I think you might wanna take a seat. We need to tell you something. 